what is up everyone so today we are going to design a burger flyer in canva right so many of you have been asking if i could make a tutorial on how to use canva applications for graphic designing and today i've decided to do exactly just that so if you are new to this channel please just stick around and watch this video to the end on this channel basically i teach people how to become creative with their smartphone by designing graphics and other stuff with their smartphone right so without further ado let's jump into today's tutorial which is basically about how to use canva to design a burger flyer right so the first thing that you have to do let's say you have to set your image size and in this tutorial i'm going to use the instagram post so i'll tap on instagram post right here and when it loads i'm going to start with a blank page because we are going to do everything from scratch so you tap on blank right so you wait for it to load so uh we just have to wait at this point because you you actually have to get strong internet connection for all this stuff to work so uh by default they sent me to pick some template templates which basically i'm not going to do right now i'm just going to change the color of my background so i have to tap on it like this to get it highlighted after it's been highlighted i'll tap on color and i'll just choose any color of my choice over here so let's say i'm going with this right so after this what i have to do now is to start importing elements i want to use in this particular design so i'm going to add a gradient effect to this so i'll tap on a plus sign over here and i'll tap on elements so after tapping on elements i'll search for gradient so i'll just type gradient in the search bar so a lot of gradient options will pop up here and i'm going to scroll through to select the one that i want so okay i'm going to go ahead and use this kind of orange one over here so i just have to select it after selecting it i'll increase the size to fill the entire working area over here because this is actually what i want so let me just do that quickly okay i think this is okay for me so this should be perfect good and i'm going to lock this particular layer so i'll tap on the lock right here and after this i can go ahead and start importing other things so i'm going to enter a test like super delicious burger so i'll tap on a plus sign over here and go to test and when it loads right so i'm going to first add a subheading and a subheading that's what's going to be super delicious right so i'm going to delete this and start with super delicious good so after this i'll just have to go ahead and change the font and the color of this test so i'll first of all change the font to uh let's say a font style like braiding so let me search the available font over here and choose the one that i like so i'm going to use one stylish font like briefing okay so let me search for it and see if it will pop up right here good it is right here so briefing that's the font that i'm going to use for this particular test and i'm going to change the color to white okay so let me use the color picker right here and i have to move this particular slider to the corner here to have the color code to be f f f f right so that is it let me put it at the middle here and the next test i'm going to enter is burger and this one i'm going to make it a heading right not a subheading but a heading so i'll tap on heading and go to edit again delete this and this time around i'll make it all capitalized so i'll just have to do this quickly so beggar right here after this i can go ahead and increase the size of it if i like okay so that's something you have to take note of you can literally work with the sizes that you want to work with in canva right so it's just like how we design in puzzle lab so you just have to you know consider everything over here and use it so i'm going to change the fonts for this one as well so let's see which font is available over here all right so i'm just going to say through the available fonts right now so let's say open sans no i don't like open sans so let me try this the exact semi bold all right so i think i'm okay with this as a semi bold i like 
I like the look, right? So I'm going to use this and I just have to change the color to red. I want to use color red for this particular test. So let me do that quickly. And I think I'm okay right here. So after this one, I can probably match the two tests right here and push it to the top good so what i have to do is first of all select one after selecting one then i have to scroll sideways and go to more after tapping on more then i'll tap on select multiple right so once select multiple is being highlighted i'll go ahead and select the test which is super delicious right after that i can go ahead and you know tap on group so once i group this i can move the two together like this Okay, so that's something you also need to take note of uh, in terms of using Canva. You can resize them together like this. Okay, so I'll just put it at the top right there. And the next thing that I'll enter is to import the beggar that I've downloaded. Now you can actually get a beggar from the Canva, but I want the one without a background, right? And if you're using the free version of Canva, you probably won't have access to this uh most of the pngs right so i assume you are using the free version so i'm going to my uploads right so i've already uploaded a burger over here but if you don't know how to do that just tap on this icon over here or this tab which says upload the media and it will take you to your gallery right so you can pick up images from here and use in your canva way right so i've got my burger over here so i'm just going to import it like this Put it at the middle like this probably increase the size if the need be and i'll leave it here like this now the next thing for me to do is to enter a few other tests and other elements to make it look popping right so first off i'm going to add a background to this and i actually got a background from the internet and i'm going to leave the link in the video description right so this is the background i got and i have to increase the size right I'm going to increase the size to fill the entire working space over here and for the position I'm going to push it to the back of everything so I'll just come to position and tap on it then I'll tap on to back like this right so I think I just have to bring it to the forward or to the front a little bit so that it will be on top of the gradient option we put inside so I'll tap on forward and this is how it will appear after this I have to reduce the opacity of it so i'm going to go to transparency and reduce it a little bit good i think this is okay right so after this i can lock this layer so that i don't get myself distract, uh, dist uh, distracted along the line so after this what i have to do now is to import other shape or any other thing that i want to add to this kind of design so i want to add something like pepper to this design so i'm going to go to element okay canva element then i'll search for pepper good so let's see what will pop up over here good so we have a few of them over here that you can use for free and they are actually png images that you can use for free so all i have to do is to resize it make it a little bit smaller and push it to wherever i want to push it right Maybe I can just make a duplicate of that, but I'll not do that. I'll just have to go and bring in another uh, type of fit. So let's say I want to use this type. So I'll just also have to reduce the size of it like this, push it to the other side and probably leave it here and maybe reduce the size a little bit. It all depends on your preference, guys. So I think this is okay for me. And after this, I have to do a few other things and I'll be good to go right so I'm going to add a shadow effect to this work right now and all that I have to do is to come to elements over here and search for shadow and I'll get that quickly right so let me do that quickly so shadow we have one free one over here that we can use so you just have to tap on it like this and it will appear over here now when it appears like this we have to reduce the size of it and bring it to this side right and we also have to rotate it and make sure it appears well below our beggar, right? And you cannot leave it just like that. We have to reduce the opacity of it as well. So let's go to transparency and reduce the opacity. Maybe this one is okay. 
yeah that's 47 i think it's okay for us now and the next thing that we want to do is to enter a few other tests like the percentage of and other now stuff like that so i'll tap on the plus sign and i'll go ahead at the element column i'll search for cycle so let's see what i'll get over here so cycle i'm going to select the first one over here which is absolutely for free and i'm going to reduce the size of it make it black all right but i think this size is okay and i'm going to put it somewhere here now i think let me just increase the size a little bit good this should be perfect right so i'm going to change the color to black so let me pick it right here so the color code for black is 000 and i'm going to leave it here what i'm going to do now is to push it behind the beggar right so i'm going to go to position and send it backward uh, let me see how it's going to look right here so i'm going to send it backward again good so when i send it backward it's right beneath the beggar right so i like it that way and the next thing for me to do is to enter the test uh let's say 30 percent off so i'm going to tap on test and go to subheading right and i'm going to go to edit after that i'll have to delay this and enter the test like 30 percent off so let's do that quickly good i think we are good to go now and we have to change the color of the test to let's say uh white so this is what we we are going to have and i have to change the font format to bold and i'm going to reduce the size of it a little bit and i think this should be okay and you can also use 30 if you want to use it and i'm just going to position it well onto the black shape right so i can use the net tool over here and position it perfectly so i think you should be following this right now and be learning something from it good so we are not done we still have other things to add and what i'm going to add right now is just another test beneath right here so i'm going to enter a test i'm going to use like a heading right so i'll just delete that and enter the test like other now and i'm going to actually reduce the size of it maybe something like this it's not bad and i'll change the color of it along the line so i'm going to add some shapes the shape probably is a u shape so i'm going to go to elements again at the element tab i'll just search for u shape all right so u shape let's see what will pop up right here so we have few other things over here popping up and literally that's this these are not what i want so uh let me go to graphics and see what is available over there uh, let me come to photos good it seems what i'm looking for is not there so let's search for the recent elements i used okay what, what we are going to do okay i think it popped up over here and the name of it should show up right here so this is the name all right this is the name u shape right and it is free to use okay i've actually started so if you are someone who like using a particular shape in canva you can actually start a shape right here okay or any other element that you find useful for yourself you can actually start it and you have easy access to it so i'm going to select the shape which is the u shape and i'm going to play around with it okay so first of all i have to rotate it like this because i want to put it right beneath this test which we just input over here with this order now all right so i'm going to reduce the size like this stretch it a bit like this and also keep reducing the size so that i get a perfect shape before i proceed with whatever i want to do okay so i'm going to put it below this test so i want to see if it will fit perfectly before i even proceed with any other thing i want to do good i think i'm okay with this so what i have to do after this is to probably make a duplicate of it 
and I'm going to rotate it the other way like this after rotating it I'll put it on the other one or probably bring it to this side and push it beneath this one so I'm sending it backward like this and making sure that it is well fitted right here and I'm going to select the second one do the same thing bring it here I just have to make sure that what each and every shape I had just inputted over here works perfect so what I'm going to do is to match these two shapes like I'm going to group them so I'll come to select multiples again and I'll select the second shape like this then I'll tap on group all right so it means I can move these two shapes together so after this I can now bring the test onto it okay so let me just pick up the test quickly and bring it on so I think the test is kind of not highlighting because I actually push it to uh, okay let me unlock this particular layer which is our background image so I'm going to unlock it and push it to the top a little bit sorry I just have to you know select each test one by one so I'm going to do this bring it here change the color to white quickly and I think we are almost done however we still have a lot to do so what you are going to do right now is to probably enter some arrow so you're going to search for arrow still under elements you're going to search for arrow so let's see what will pop up over here so I think okay let's see which one will be nice for us to use in this design all right so let's pick just one of these arrows available just for this tutorial right so I'm going to use this one and I'm going to position it right here So right after importing this shape we just have to you know position it well to fit or to point directly to our call to action button which is all done now so let's let's have a look at it right so we still have to rotate it a little bit more to fit perfectly like this now i think it's it's okay right so what we have to do now is to add another test probably uh we're going to use this heading and the test that we add is going to be the same beggar and we're going to make it capitalized as well good so we can equally increase the size of this one and make it like this right make it bold right like this and after that we have to you know uh we have to reduce the line spacing between them so let's go to spacing and we go to the line spacing like this reduce it so we are okay right so we're going to put it at the middle like this and after this we are going to actually position it to the back not to the back actually but we're going to send it backwards right So we, we are just sending it backwards to it, it get back of the the badger right so like this after this we are going to tap on effect right and we're going to make it a hollow test like this and we have to actually play with this and I think this is okay but let's use the thickness of four and reduce the opacity of it And I think this is okay so once you are done with this you can save your work you've actually finished designing what you want to design so just go ahead and save your work in uh, Canva and it will be saved to your gallery all right so basically that is how to design a simple food flyer or beggar flyer in pet in Canva right so I think this video actually helped you 
and if it does help then go ahead and hit that like button also subscribe to this channel and get to learn all the videos on this channel get to learn a lot from them and start implementing them everything on this channel is being done with smartphone and you can equally do a whole lot more right so stick to this channel and let more right so i'll see you in the next video bless up